Hi, I'm Spencer with the Tennis Warehouse Shoe Review. This is the Adidas Barricade 7. The choice of several top ATP Touring Pros, the Barricade 7 goes back to the more classic three-stripe look while offering a new all-seamless upper for better comfort and fit. Known for its stable response and durable outsole, can this latest Barricade live up to its reputation as the ultimate hardcore shoe? Let's find out. We're here with Jose Angulo. Jose, you grew up, you started your tennis career as an Adidas shoe guy. So you've had experience with several barricades, I believe starting with the three and all the way up through the seven. Correct. Uh, why don't you give us your impressions of uh, the seven and how it compares to maybe some of the others? Yeah. Well, uh, the shoe, the barricades, they've always been real great when it comes to durability, stability. You know, I, I'm an aggressive player. You know, I wear out shoes just being big overall just wears out shoes real fast. So I really need something that's gonna be real durable, that's gonna hold up in the court, and really, really gonna help me out in those lateral supports. And barricades over the years have always done that for me. The sevens have done that for me, six all the way down to the threes. Now this new style, I really like the fact that it really is a little snug, but it still gives you that open toe box area compared to the six, so it's not gonna be as snug. And it's gonna give you really that support all the way around the court. Uh, one downside, you know, the to toe jam is still there for me when it came to the six, the seven is still there. Uh, fives or and below that, I never experienced any of that toe jamming, but if I wear double pairs of socks or if I shoelace my shoes a little bit tighter, they tend to uh, reduce uh, the injury a little bit. But overall, uh, the Barrick is still going to live up to its name, being a hardcore shoe that's going to last and give you the support that you need. We're here with Chris Edwards. Chris, you've worn every single barricade that they've come out with. Now we're up to the seven. They've made some changes to it uh, with the all seamless upper. What did you think and compare it to some of the others? The upper makes a big change. Uh, not so much in the way it fits, but in the break-in time is just like taking the break-in time apart. Really the six took a break-in, the five took a long break-in. This latest one, the seven, breaks in really, really quickly. So comfort all around right from the get-go is improved and then that comfort stays with the shoe throughout its life so I think it's a it's a more comfortable feeling upper um, but you still get that same support and stability and dynamite traction that, you've, that I found with every single barricade and uh, it really still is one of the ultimate hardcore tennis shoes out there um, like Jose mentioned I did have some uh, issues with my toes jamming into the end of this shoe on quick stops and that's something that happened as the shoe um, did you know kind of open up and you know did, even though it doesn't really require much of a break in the shoe is still going to break in and loosen up and when it did uh, my foot would slide forward in a bit. Tried a couple of pairs of uh, socks try and fill it up a bit but still having that issue a little bit um, but apart from that I mean um, ventilation's decent not exceptional um, and then just the cushioning is right there it's responsive I feel fast and uh, they're still lasting I've had my pair you know at least a month and a half two months longer than you guys and I haven't worn a whole three of mine yet, so uh, durability is excellent. I also play tested this latest Barricade and going back to, I've play tested the two, the four, the five, the six, and now the seven, uh, I think this is the, the best iteration for my foot. Now, reason being is, number one, I like uh, the comfort of it. There's less break-in than the other iterations, sans the six, the six was an easy break-in as well. Uh, but what this one has is that all seamless uh, uh, construction in the upper does make for a comfortable fit. Uh, the break-in was fairly easy. If I had one issue with the break-in, it had to do with the arch. I felt much like the CC Genius. Uh, the arch ran a little forward for my foot and caused some discomfort and, and some blistering. Um, but after the first couple wears, I got through that. It got pushed down a little bit and it wasn't a problem. And then from then on, the shoe seemed to get better and better like I recall with all the other barricades. Uh, this one, uh, in contrast to the six, the six I had some issues with my feet jamming up in the front of the shoe, causing a black toenail. Uh, I was kind of weary about that in the seven, but I didn't, didn't experience that at all. And I put quite a few hours on this shoe. Uh, I would say overall the seven, uh, for me, has been the best barricade thus far. It's a little bit lighter weight, much more comfortable, and the aesthetics are dynamite. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Shoe Review. Check our website at tenniswarehouse.com for more information. See you next time.